So today we've got the two football challenges back together. Um, first of all, we'll just do a little bit of a review and um, go through the, the last eight weeks of the, the progress and go through their nutritional uh, diaries, have a little bit of an update on their training programme and then we'll jump into the gym as well and um, go through all the exercise to make sure that they're comfortable with it, but also to track any changes that they've made as well. And, then we'll feed that back to Paco and he can uh, adjust the training program according to it. I think the first couple of weeks it's quite hard to adapt to a new training program, especially when it's quite different to what you have been doing before. Um, I think they were very much relying on match day fitness to, to get them through a game, whereas this is hopefully going to add to that. So I think the first couple of weeks were pretty hard, but they're really getting into it now and you can see their motivation is really coming through and um, this second half I think they're really, really going to do well. So what they've done so far has been a, a little bit of a mixture between um, anaerobic uh, cardiovascular work uh, and also aerobic work to make sure that we're becoming more and more efficient at that. Uh, but also a lot of uh, weight training, um, quite a lot in the, in the lower legs like the lunges and the squats, but also around the core as well to make sure that they're actually a little bit more mobile and the speed that they're actually harnessing, they can do that effectively by having a very, very good strong unit to be able to move that speed from. The big thing for them is making sure that they are getting the carbohydrate and the protein in. Um, we've lowered the, the fat within their diets. Um, one is a student, one's in a bank, so it's quite easy to kind of grab the handy food that is around and, and usually that, that tends to be the, the food that is relatively high in fat. So we've tried to cut out those the kind of meaningless snacks, but we're trying to get in more of the carbohydrate, regular intervals of protein to kind of try and drip feed their bodies. They're working out four days a week plus their, their football that already exists within their training program. So it, it's quite hardcore for them. So we're making sure that they are make, uh, getting the energy back into the muscles and, and the protein in there to make sure that they are recovering effectively.